Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. And today's video is going to be a winter wardrobe essentials roundup. So I've done a video like this in the past, but I wanted to do an updated version of one. And I feel like this is really helpful going into the winter season. I live in Southern California where it is not really winter at all, but I did grow up in a place with freezing temperatures and snow every winter. I've also spent a lot of time in really cold places. And these are some tricks and tips and ways that I style for those climates. If any of you also frequent a cold climate whether you live there or you travel there a lot feel free to drop any pointers or tips that you have in the comments below too because I feel like staying warm is truly an art form and we will take all the help we can get so yeah I'm just gonna go through and share all of my favorite things to wear in the winter what I think is essential for having a winter wardrobe and I'll try to link as many items as I can for you guys in the description box down below if you have any other winter fashion videos that you want to see coming up please drop them in the comments because I feel like winter is a really hard time to be inspired for fashion so I can get a little stumped on videos this time of year as well so let me know what you guys want to see and let's Let's get to the video okay I have everything written out here so I'm just gonna go off of this I love to have things written down that's what I do organize like all of my videos that take a lot of research and planning and all that good stuff so let's get right into it the most important part for the winter wardrobe essentials is gonna be your base layers so let's just get through those. They're not the most fun, but they are absolutely necessary and very functional. So first thing that I want to talk about as a base layer is faux leather leggings because I just think that they're so fashionable and they're also really great for keeping you warm. They kind of just trap in your heat and they look great with winter wear. You can also wear them under things because they are a thin enough layer. So I have a pair from Commando and I also have a pair from Spanx. Those I think are the two best brands of those. They're high quality. They're a bit of an investment, but I think that it's worth it for those so I'll link those at places I can find them and I believe I wear a size extra small in those because I want them to be really tight okay and then the next base layer that I want to talk to you guys about is fleece lined tights I think the last time I made this video I hadn't owned a pair yet and I'm so happy that these became a thing and that I own them now because they are literally so warm and such a game changer what I love about these is that they allow you to wear shorter things during the winter months that you otherwise probably would not be able to wear so it's it looks like you're just wearing normal tights, but it's a pair of tights essentially, but then inside of it, it's lined with fleece and it looks, it makes it look like it's just your skin underneath, but it really is like a pair of skin toned leggings inside the tights, I guess. And then those are fleece lined. So just super cozy, super warm. You can double layer them. You can wear a pair of actual tights on top of those. You can wear those under pants and things like that. And they're just going to help keep you super warm. I get mine off of Amazon. So I'll just link the pair that I have. The next thing is really warm socks. We lose a ton of heat through our hands, our head, and our Feet, I believe so really warm socks is essential and having cold toes in the snow or freezing temps there's nothing worse than that so I love my Bombas socks in the winter I feel like they have really great really warm comfortable socks but there's tons of places you could get super warm socks so I'll try to link a roundup of them and when you're gonna be somewhere super cold I like to double layer my socks sometimes as well and if you have those little hand and feet warmers the little like pouches that heat up those are always great to put into your gloves or your shoes and then lastly as a base layer is kind of just like the long johns the thermals whatever you want to call them so just like the classic like you wear them under ski and snowboard clothes or anything like snow pants like that so growing up I always wore the Under Armour ones Clayton said he used to wear the Columbia ones he also grew up snowboarding so anything like that I also just like a nice tight long sleeve it doesn't have to be like a technical long john or thermal and i love those from like skims white fox i have one from hollister but just like a nice base layer that's gonna help keep you warm okay so after you have their base layers covered we can get into the more fun stuff so next up let's talk about tops this will be the next layer I think that turtlenecks are essential in the winter. They're a great layering piece. You can just pop them over top of that base layer top and you're already gonna be 
much warmer and cozier than you were before and they look great under so many things so I love wearing a turtleneck of kind of like a opposing complementary color under a crew neck or a sweater they look great with blazers with jackets so many things so I think that the turtleneck is just essential I personally like a body suit style because I think it looks really good with a lot of the bottoms that I wear in the winter and the places that I generally like to get these is Abercrombie is I think where I have most of mine from skims has some good ones and I also saw that Express has some really good ones so kind of just basic neutral colors darker like winter colors and just a really easy layer to add to a lot of winter outfits okay next up is sweaters which is a no-brainer for the winter season I love just chunky cozy knits they look so nice they feel so nice I really like oversized ones a lot of the time but also true to size ones are also really nice places that I like to get these I got so many good ones from H&M this year I actually shared a haul a couple of weeks back of those and then I put it on my TikTok and my Instagram I just love the sweaters that I got there this year and they have really great prices so that's a great place I really love like the striped mohair one I got I think stripes is a great way to kind of add a little bit of texture and interest to your outfit in the winter but not have it be like too crazy or overpowering or anything because I do tend to wear more neutrals in the winter so there's not like a ton of interest with like colors and patterns and all that generally but I think stripes is such a great winter staple I also love the sweaters at naked they have really good just like staple simple ones but they also have here and there like some really cool more interesting ones like I have another one that's kind of like a striped mohair muted autumn tones one and their stuff always sells out really fast so try to get those before they're gone Abercrombie of course has great sweaters I have like their tuckable sweater that's just a really nice cable knit a basic Hollister I just got this really nice green like emerald green sweater really great prices there as well and Revolve and Shop Bop if you want something a little bit more specialty higher end a little bit more fashion forward not as much of a basic I think those are great places for that type of sweater okay next we're gonna talk about crew necks and hoodies so as you guys can see today I'm wearing this like kind of teddy texture hoodie this is so comfy and it's a great staple for the winter I actually got this in that H&M haul as well and then Abercrombie I think has the best like staple basic hoodies and crew necks Clayton and I both wear them and they're so comfy they have tons of colors I usually get a size small if I want it to be like true to size or I'll do a medium or large if I want it to be a little bit more oversized and Clayton and I share a lot of those sweaters or sweatshirts it's always a medium or a large when we share them because he doesn't fit in the small also I wore this one from a small brand called stitch and feather a lot this fall that had like a graphic on it I do like the simple plain ones a lot but I think having a few mixed in ones of graphics is really great too okay next is fleeces I have grown to love fleeces so much like a quarter zip or a half zip H&M had one that went viral it looked really similar to this Hailey Bieber very expensive fleece so I kind of like those ones that have a little bit of interest they have a little bit of like artwork on them I just got like a mountainscape one from Hollister that was really affordable and these are great more like outdoorsy type tops I would say really great for layering if you are gonna get an affordable one it's probably not gonna be crazy warm it's not gonna be the best quality so you will want to layer a lot underneath but there is some really nice quality ones if you want to splurge a little bit more I love the ones from the great shop Bop has some really nice nice fleeces like that and then for the more affordable ones I would say like H&M Hollister oh and I have a really nice one from Lululemon that I just got so that's a great place as well but like I said kind of more of that like outdoorsy athletic style with those next we're gonna move on to outerwear so obviously coats jackets vests all those types of things are essential for winter and making your wardrobe come together and also so that you can stay warm so the first one that I want to talk about is like a trench coat or any kind of longer coat whether it be like a pea coat or I don't know something in that realm that's just kind of longer and a little bit dressier so I personally love like a trench coat look I have a faux leather one from naked that I'm obsessed with that's really cool it's more on the edgy side I also have just like a classic more it's just like a tan one you know like a classic trench coat look the one that I wear the most from that is probably my ASOS one because it's like the highest quality 
Clayton and I share a Burberry one of that that we love, but it's actually not very warm. It's not super thick. So like the thickest one I have is usually the one I wear the most in the winter, but also like a wool or cotton one, anything that's just really substantial. I also have some really good longer coats like that from Naked. They have amazing outerwear. And like I said, their stuff sells out really fast. So I'll try to link some good ones for you guys, but just any kind of like neutral plain color in those, I think looks really good with everything. If you want to like splurge or get a nicer one, Shop Up or Revolve has some really nice ones of those as well. I think that that can also be a fun place for a pop of color. So I actually just thrifted a red trench coat, like a wool trench coat or like a long wool coat. I don't know if it's like technically all tr a trench coat, but a red one the other day and I'm so excited to wear it. I feel like that is just so fun and you could get away with just having that be your coat and just have it be like your pop of color all the time. Okay, then next up, I wanna talk about puffers because they are essential. We need them in the winter, they're so functional and they're also really cute. So I do have a couple of North Faces and I love them, they are super warm. I think that they are definitely worth the investment. I would suggest getting like a black or a brown one or the black and white one I think is really neutral. You can get a ton of wear out of those. I honestly think the black one is probably the best for matching everything. It's just a classic. I wear a size small in mine, so I'll try to find some places that have it available and link for you guys. If you want more affordable puffers, Abercrombie also has some really great ones that are super great quality. They keep you very warm. They have this like scale on how warm their coats keep you. I don't know. It's on their website. You can check it out. I wear a size small in those or I'll size up to a medium if I want for layering. And then if you want it to be really affordable, I have some really cute puffers from H&M, but they are definitely not the warmest. So be warned. Okay, next up, I think a fuzzy jacket is essential for the winter. I do think like the longer coat is a great dressier option, but I think that the fuzzy jacket is the fun jacket that you need in the winter. It's great for really dressy things and it's also great for dressing down a lot. So I like to wear a fuzzy jacket with like sweats or with a dress and go either way. And I just think that it's fun and it's very quintessential winter to me. So I think that those are something that you don't wanna miss out on. I have a few from Misguided that I've loved for years, but I'm pretty sure Misguided no longer exists in the United States. So that's not that helpful to you guys. But I also know Revolve has some really good ones. Venus randomly has some really good ones. And I think those are more affordable. H&M has some good ones. Again, with this faux fur, like fuzzy jacket, they are not gonna be as great quality when you're getting them from a more affordable place. So just be warned, it might not be the warmest and it may not like hold up that well. Although my misguided ones have held up really well. I think Naked probably has some good ones of those too, but I just think it's great to have this like textured, fun, fuzzy jacket in your wardrobe. Okay, next I wanna talk about vests because I think that they are stylistically so great in the winter. Obviously, if you are somewhere that is absolutely freezing, you're not gonna be able to opt for a vest most of the time because you're gonna be kind of exposed on your arms and stuff. But if you're in a place that's just generally cold or if you wanna wear a jacket over the vest and then when you're inside, wear the vest, I think they look so freaking cute in the winter and I don't want to pass them up in this video. So I love a little puffer vest. I wear these all the time. They're great for like my morning walks or when I'm going to the gym or something or if you're skiing somewhere and it's not like sometimes there's really nice days when you're skiing, like a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Wearing a vest with your ski outfit, I think is so cute. So a puffer vest is great, like a faux leather one or just a normal one, like a shearling vest. Those are really in this year. I think that those are really cute and fun as well. And some good places to shop for these. I have some great vests from H&M. Also Shopbop, Hollister has some really affordable ones. And I think even Amazon has some really good little, just like staple puffer vests. Okay, and then the last piece of outerwear that I wanna talk about is a bomber jacket because I wear the heck out of my bomber jackets and they're amazing layering pieces. They look super fashionable fashionable. So I love wearing them over a sweater. I also love wearing them over like a crew neck or a hoodie with the hood over top. I have this brown one from Princess Polly that I wear the most. It's actually not the warmest jacket that I have, but it's great for layering. There is also like the shearling bombers. Naked has a ton of good ones like that. Or if you like a more like sporty kind of edgy look, I guess, the racer style jackets or like a baseball style jacket, like a sports team or a canvas jacket. Those are really cool. The best ones of those that I have are vintage. We thrifted them, but also like White Fox has really good ones of those. And that's all I can think of right now, but 
I think a bomber style jacket is just a must have. Oh, and the nicest one that I have, the warmest one, is from this English brand called Ducey. Very expensive, but insane quality and I get so much wear out of it. Okay, now that we've got the top portion of our wardrobe done, we're gonna go on to the bottoms. All right, so it's a no-brainer. Denim is a part of every season and I love denim. There's so many good ways to wear it. I particularly in the winter like a looser style fit of denim, I feel like, because it's great for layering if you need to underneath. So like the fleece lined tights or the long johns or something. If you wanna be really warm under your denim, it's great to have like a looser baggier pair. Places that I love to get denim is Levi's, obviously just a classic and a staple. Abercrombie crushes it with the denim. White Fox has really, really good denim that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. Urban Outfitters has great denim and Revolve if you want like a little bit more of a spur splurge or shop bop. They both have like a ton of different brands and some really nice denim. I will say that I'm also kind of intrigued by the resurgence of skinny jeans I guess. I actually don't own a pair of skinny jeans anymore but I kind of want one to like tuck my boots into because I feel like with the right styling I am kind of into it. I know everybody isn't but I kind of like the skinny jeans with like a blazer and a turtleneck and tucked in like riding style boots. Um, so I'm kind of into that but denim is just a staple and a classic so obviously have to include it here. Next faux leather pants. This is such a good winter wardrobe staple. I'm actually wearing mine today. <laughs> okay, and hands down, the best place to get these is Abercrombie. That is where my favorite pairs of these are from. So I have the chocolate brown color. I have the silver color that's new this year and it's really fun. I would not say that's like a staple or a basic though, unless that's kind of the way that you like to dress. But I think the black pair overall is the most functional and wearable pair. I also think that these run a little bit small, so I size up one size in these to a 26. They are so comfortable and so flattering, you guys. Like, they make your butt look so good, and they just go with everything, and they're very chic, and they look very put together. So whether you're wearing, like, a hoodie and a trench coat with them, you're gonna look super chic, or if you wanna wear something more dressed up, I don't know, they're just... They're the best, so definitely get those if you don't have them yet. Next is trousers, another great piece to layer under because trousers tend to be like a little bit on the looser side, a little bit wider of a leg. I also love my trousers from Abercrombie. They feel like pajama pants to me, but they look so nice. They're great for workwear. Hollister also has some really good trousers that I just tried out and those are very affordable. And Shop Bop, I would say, is a great place to get trousers if you want to splurge a little bit more because they have some really nice pairs on there. But if you like work in an office or something and you're wearing trousers all the time, the girl math is girl mathing. Next up is like joggers or sweats because obviously those are just so comfy and warm. So we need those in the winter. I wear the heck out of my Amazon camo sweats that you guys have probably seen on my Instagram. Um, I'll try to link them for you guys. I wear a size medium, which I think is sold out, but I just get so much wear out of those because I love the like contrast that they give to everything. And it's very ironic because where I grew up, everyone wears camo and like everyone in my family wears camo all the time. And I kind of wear camo ironically now, like I don't wear camo in the same way that everybody back home wears camo, but I still like it a lot. My grandpa's like whole closet is literally camo. But anyways, just like a nice fun pair of joggers or sweats is great for that. And also just plain ones as well. Urban Outfitters has a really comfy, cute pair of joggers that I love. I have a couple different colors in those. And then I also just got like a really nice straight leg pair of sweats from Hollister that are just like a light heather gray. They're so comfy and just like a really good staple. So I think like a couple maybe like one to two pairs of like a straight leg pair of joggers or sweats and then one to two pairs that has the little cuffed ankle is really good in the winter okay and then next up because of the invention of the fleece line tights i am down to wear short skirts in the winter now because i literally am so warm with those little leggings on especially if you double them but also if you just don't want to be cold at all then maybe don't do that but sometimes i will sacrifice some warmth for the look so i love having a little skirt in the winter i think like a pleated one or just a plain black one something super neutral and very very malleable you can pair with a ton of different things is perfect for that so i love abercrombie's skirts like their menswear skirt or skirt is one of my favorite items in my closet it looks great with tights and sweaters and jackets and 
everything or like a little pleated one is super cute so i have a pleated skirt from naked that i love and i think Princess Polly has some really good ones too, but I think if you want to try to incorporate a skirt into your winter wardrobe, you totally can with those fleece line tights and it just makes it a little more fun. Next, we're gonna talk about shoes. And I actually tried to keep this like as minimal as I could because I love shoes and I have a ton, but I feel like for the winter wardrobe, you can really get away with very little pairs of shoes. Okay, so for the first pair, I wanna talk about just like a black knee high calf high pair of boots so i think this is essential for the winter this is going to be like your nice shoe in the winter so if you're going to wear the skirt or if you're going to wear something dressy or if you're going to go to a nice dinner or something i think you're going to wear this black heeled knee high ish boot the pair that i am loving the most this year i think is this kind of like what do they call that so when it goes like over, I don't know how to explain it. We'll just put a picture on the screen. But they're from Mark Fisher and they kind of have like a tube over the leg and over the boot, if that makes sense. It's like a layered boot. I think that those are so cute. I also have a pair from Express that's like a faux croc pointed toe boot that I have worn like five million times. Love those. And I think just like a classic, simple-ish pair of black heeled boots is what you need here. Next up, we're gonna need a pair of Uggs because I wear my Uggs so much. My most worn pair is my platform mini Uggs because I think they just go with everything and they're so cute. But if you're not into that style, the non-platform ones are really cute. I also think the Taz slippers are great. So I have like the brown pair and the fuzzy cream pair. You do not need both pairs. If you want them and if you like them, you can, but you don't need both for this, for the intent of keeping this less more concise you don't need both i would say the brown pair is more wearable i guess and then a snow boot i think is essential if you're going to be in a place that has a lot of snow my personal faves are my moon boots i wear them so much and they are so specific for this one season of the year but it's always really exciting when winter rolls around and you can pull out your moon boots again so i think they're worth the splurge they're super comfy they keep your feet really warm and they're just the cutest like snow boots I've ever seen. And then this one is optional, but I had to add it because I've been wearing them so much. I think a pair of red boots is like the best little addition that you don't need for your winter wardrobe, but if you just wanna have something fun in there, you can wear these with so many things, like with the skirt, with the leggings. Um, if you were doing the skinny jeans with the boots over top, I just, the red boots. I've had mine actually for a couple of years. I know that red is trending a lot right now, but I've had mine for a couple of years and I've always got a lot of wear out of them. I think a red boot is kind of classic. So just throwing that out there, but you could get away with just a pair of black boots, a pair of Uggs or something like that, and a pair of snow boots, I think. All those bottoms that I mentioned, I think those shoes is all you need. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna go over accessories because you know, accessories make everything more fun and they can be very functional here in this winter season, which is great. So first is scarves because this is such a great way to help you keep warm. It's also a great little fashion statement added, but mostly here for the functionality of scarves, to be honest. I think that it's best to have a solid neutral scarf and a solid colored scarf because the scarf is such a cute pop of color. I've seen red scarves everywhere this year on social media. I have like a blue one that I love a lot. I have like a bright orange one that I love a lot as well. But I think that you can absolutely get away with just like one neutral solid scarf, maybe like a tan or a cream, a black or a brown, and then one pop of color solid scarf and then I think one pattern scarf is great to have in that mix too probably just a neutral one but if you like love scarves and you want a lot pop off but I think those three would be like the essentials and some really good places to get scarves I love my Princess Polly scarves Shop Bob has some really nice ones anywhere like Target or something super easy has them Urban Outfitters has some really cute fun ones and they're just a great Great little add-on. Okay, next is gloves. So obviously this is great for functionality. As I mentioned earlier, having those little inserts, those like hand warmers is great in the gloves. And I think it's best to have like two pairs of gloves depending on what your winter lifestyle is like. One being like an actual snow glove that you could wear skiing, sledding, anything that's like actually you're like touching snow or just being in snow a lot. Those are usually not that cute, but they're just 
really for functionality and then like a fashion pair of gloves or mittens which don't let that fool you they're still going to be warm but they're going to be much more fashionable so if you're like walking around a city or something like that i think like a leather pair of gloves that's lined with something fuzzy is the best like to keep you the warmest but they're not the easiest to like move around in so a mitten or something that's more just like soft and fuzzy i think is easier to like maneuver with but not quite as warm some good places to get those urban outfitters anthropology i think has some Again, just like Target or something. Shop Bop has some really nice ones, so you can get them like all over. Okay, and then beanies is essential in the winter. I love beanies. I love the way they look, and I also love how they help keep you warm. I think like three, two to three neutral beanies is essential. So like a black one, I think you can get so much wear out of, and then maybe like a cream or a tan one is really good. And then I think like one or two pops of color for a beanie is really great as well. So I have like a bright, bright blue one that I love so much. It looks so cute with everything somehow, like a bright orange one or pink one or a yellow one, a green one. I don't know, just pop of color in the beanie is really cute. Some good places to get these, Urban Outfitters, Princess Polly, even just like Amazon. Again, these are really simple pieces that you could probably get pretty much anywhere. Um, and then last but not least is like earmuffs or little head warmer thingy. I think just like a neutral fuzzy one is great for this. I have a black one that I always get questions on. It is like a great winter staple. I think it looks really cute as well. Like the way it kind of pushes your hair up is cute. And it looks very chic and like, I don't know, European skier babe or something. But you can kind of get those anywhere too. I think mine is from Nordstrom. I'd probably just get it from like a department store like that. So it'd be a little bit nicer. Like probably wouldn't get one off Amazon or something because I, I feel like it wouldn't keep my ears warm. It wouldn't be nice enough. But that is it. That is what I think really rounds out a winter wardrobe, all the essentials that you need. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. And like I said, let me know if there's any other videos you want to see. As always, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. And I'll see you next time.